If you want to find, the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that, they don't have any of their own. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade, than in all the previous centuries of its existence. The scientists of today, think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone, that is when ideas are born. The present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked, is mine. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. I do not think, you can name many great inventions, that have been made by married men. I do not think there is any thrill, that can go through the human heart like, that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success, such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply, and be quite insane. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. We crave for new sensations, but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. The individual is ephemeral, races and nations come and pass away, but man remains. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world, that they are wholly oblivious to, what is passing on within themselves. Marconi is a good fellow. Let him continue. He is using 17 of my patents. Most certainly, some planets are not inhabited, but others are, and among these there must exist life under all conditions, and phases of development. So astounding are the facts in this connection, that it would seem as though the Creator, himself had electrically designed this planet. Peace can only come, as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment and merging of races, and we are still far from this blissful realization. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences, that shape our destinies. The progressive development of man, is vitally dependent on invention. It is the most important product of his creative brain. We are all one. Only egos, beliefs, and fears separate us. The progressive development of man, is vitally dependent on invention. When natural inclination develops into a passionate desire, one advances towards his goal in seven league boots. One has to be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quiet and sane. A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. One's salvation could only be brought, 
about through his own efforts. Originality thrives in seclusion free of outside influences, beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Be alone that is the secret of invention. Genius is its own passport, and has always been ready to change habitats, until the natural one is found. Science is but a perversion of itself, unless it has as its ultimate goal, the betterment of humanity. To know each other, we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. One may feel a sudden wave of sadness, and rake his brain for an explanation, when he might have noticed, that it was caused by a cloud cutting off the rays of the sun. My belief is firm in a law of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion, to the labor and sacrifices made.